So, <clears throat> we're back again for another sort of talking through things video. This is post results day. Um, it's sort of the sequel to my university application video where I sort of went through where I'd got offers from and sort of how I'd like applied, things like that. And then obviously after that we then had the A-level vlogs. So now this is the final instalment before we go into the next bit of life, I guess. I was unsure before, well, well as I was filming this, whether to make the title of this video uh, reveal where I'm going for uni or keep it hidden. So I have no idea whether you all know or not because I'm filming this before I've decided on the title. But um, yeah, so. A levels, you know, they went all right. Um, I did my exams, some of them went better than others, so lots of them felt like they went really well, and lots of them I worked really hard, but then my English literature exams, two of them were on clash days. I, for two of those out of three exams, I had clashes, so I had more than one exam that day, and so I was already exhausted. Um, and then the third one, was my least favourite exam. <laughs> so I really had bad luck with that. So I, I got an A in that. And then Latin, three of them felt like they went well, but then one of them just went really badly and I bombed it and uh, dragged me down, that dragged me down like classics, that went fine. I found out in hindsight, I did really well on one of my essays, which I was very happy about. Um, so results day, let's run through it. So, results day, you know, 18th of August. Today is currently the, um, the 20th. So, not too far after results day, actually. And, um, I, you know, got up. I didn't get much sleep. That, that was just a thing. I didn't get much sleep. I woke up at half five. <laughs> I said to myself I was going to sleep in. And I didn't sleep in because I was nervous and... I was exhausted as a result of that and so I woke up and okay the, there was a change of plan my original plan was to check my results on UCAS which is when so at quarter past eight in the morning they'd have like a thing and I could tell whether I got whether my place had been confirmed or anything um, before I went to school to get my grades because I have to go into school to get them um, and then my original plan was to check that secretly and then if I got in to not tell my parents um, like if I if I made a uni or whatever, like no, no matter the result, unless I got rejected from all of them and went into clearing, my plan was to not tell my parents. Um, that plan went out the window because I was so relieved that I didn't go into clearing. Spoiler, I didn't go into clearing. I was so relieved that I um, screamed. <laughs> so my parents knew the game was up, I guess. Uh, it was actually really funny. I've got a video of me opening my results because I did do them by myself and uh, what opening my um, UCAS and my poor mother was really nervous and she tried to come to check me as I was logging in and I was like I do not want to open this to people around so I was like go away please but she she thought I was crying so she thought I'd like missed it and she was like oh no um, so it was very dramatic uh, that, so that was lots of uh, fun in hindsight but not fun in the moment um, and the problem with UCAS is that it really makes it as stressful as it could be, you know? So I woke up and I sort of spend the whole day pottering around. I painted my nails because I was scared. Did makeup because I was scared. Um, I was really trying to do anything to pass the time until this result came out. Um, and then I got on my iPad and I was texting my friends as well. Like, guys, I don't want to check this. I don't want to check it. I don't want to know. Uh, and I opened it and it's got a timer. Why is there a queue? So I'd, I'd got on at 10 past eight and it had a five, had a five minute time. <laughs> and it was so never, I got to one minute too and I was shaking, like my hands were, were straight on like this. Like, like that. <laughs> they, they were not okay, I was not okay. Um, and then there was a 10 second countdown. So I started filming my reaction at the 10 second countdown. So it was like 10, nine eight all that oh it was awful it was actually they really did not help with my stress levels i'm gonna have to say ucas ucas that was not helpful i was already panicking and then they put in like a 10 second countdown um 
but also they actually refreshed it so basically if i'd i was there's like a waiting list so i managed to get on before the first reveal at quarter past but um if i'd missed the 10 second countdown because i tried to log in on my phone afterwards and it said I had to wait another 10 minutes to get it on my phone, which was really tragic. Um, so I'm sitting there and the 10 minute, 10 second countdown goes down. And then it goes, you can now access your result. And I was, I was about to cry. I was not ready. And I logged in. Well, I, click, I clicked on it, it said click on here. So I click on it. And then I had to log in again, obviously. And if anyone here has used UCAS, you know that it takes forever to log in. So I was just sitting there waiting, like shaking. Um, and then I made my firm choice. I, this, this is the time for the reveal. I am going to Cambridge University. <laughs> oh, I actually can't believe it. I have never been more shocked in my entire life um but i got in and it didn't tell me what my grades were so my offer was two a stars and an a with an a star in latin and i was so i was like what because i was ex full full like honesty here i was expecting to have to email them and be like please let me in because <laughs> i was not expecting to meet my offer or anything and i was really fully expecting to have maybe made my insurance which was three a's and have not made my firm uh so i made it and that's where the screaming came in because I, I was so shocked and i do have a video which i will insert here Go away, please. understand the screaming the other scream was of course my mother my dad was also screaming but it was a bit low so he couldn't hear it because he was further away um so then of course the obvious thing was to go into school to get my grades anyway and also to say hi to my teachers and stuff uh there were lots of tears uh, m m most of my friends i think got into their firm choice unis as well as far as i'm aware all of them got into their firm choice unis except for maybe like one or two people but none of my super close friends missed it um some of my friends got straight a stars geniuses like so many so many of my friends got straight a stars it was actually scary because i did not get straight a stars i went in and i'd i got into the uni so i thought oh i must have made my offer i had in fact missed my offer i know it's so tragic so my offer was two a stars and an a with an a star in latin and I'd got one A star and two A's, and the A star wasn't in Latin, it was in classical civilization. But, uh, turns out my Latin, like, A was two marks off of an A star. So I was pretty close. So I can basically say I got t two A stars, but it was two marks off. But the thing is, the university didn't know that. All they knew is that I'd got an A star in class and two A's. So, like, I could have been one mark into the A grade boundary for Latin. They still let me in, like, so props to Cambridge for that, because I could have bombed that. Um, but it did make me a bit annoyed, because I know, I know why it happened. It's because I had a Latin exam the day before a clash with English. So I put loads of effort into revising the English, because I was really nervous about that exam. And then I bombed the Latin exam and the English one. <laughs> Uh, but you know that is kind of how it is i was really disappointed about my grades for a couple of days because i had been aiming for three a stars you know those are my predicted grades and i put a lot of pressure on myself to get those grades and to at least meet my offer but you know two days on i have officially moved on just about it i did get i did feel a bit worse because so many of my friends managed to get straight a stars so i was already like nervous about it and then you know when your friends are like oh you did really well and then you ask how they did and it's like oh i got three or four a stars and it's like ah thanks you know <laughs> like i did not do well compared to that um <laughs> but in the end you know i part i'm trying to convince myself 
that it doesn't matter and you know because I still got into the uni but part of me does still feel a bit disappointed in myself because I know I could have done better and I could have got three A stars if I'd you know maybe managed my time differently or revised a different thing or practiced a technique more but I did work really hard I mean I was getting migraines and I was stressed so if I could have done things differently and I could have got higher grades but I didn't and I can't be bothered to retake them because that's too much effort and I can't be bothered to get a remark because a remark costs 50 quid and I am not spending that much money on a remark when I was only two marks off anyway um so if I hadn't got in I would have got a remark just to see if I could make it um but currently that doesn't matter because I've made it so now I'm really excited but now I have so much stuff to do so I have to do some work again so uh there should be a vlog up sometime after this because this is quite a quick one um because I I'm just talking but the vlog after this will be about going on the jacked greek summer school which I had to do before I found out if I got in um to learn ancient greek but I've still got three chapters left of ancient greek to self-study before september I've also got to arrange accommodation maintenance fees all sorts of things like that um which is less exciting but also very exciting hello <laughs> This is definitely going to be like a, a real change going to uni and it's like a massive next phase. That is the update. I am going to Cambridge. So that means that my 20 subscribers <laughs> can look forward to some Cambridge University study vlogs and things like that. I like Cambridge but also there'll be a study vlog for the insane amount of Greek I need to get my head around and also I have to revise some Latin as well. Basically, lots to do. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> um, but, you know, that was how it is. I am so excited. I actually am also kind of in shock. I'm not gonna lie about that. I am in shock. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next vlog, which is probably going to be taking place two weeks ago. <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Thank you for watching and yeah, that's the update.